Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Face by Brittany here. And today I'll be sharing with you the fragrances I wore this week and the layering combinations. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep on watching. With the first combination i don't know i had like this energy drink and it's it's doing its job so <laughs> i'm kind of excited anyway y'all so i started off with my nivea body lotion this is the one that's for dry to very dry skin i don't have that but I said, you know, why not? Um, and I do like how this feel. So I mixed this with Bad and Bougie because I wanted a neutral scent so I can add in the scent. And Bad and Bougie is just that. Bad and Bougie smells so good to me. I really can't explain. I'm going to try to list the notes somewhere. Um, but if you refer to my Brown Sugar Babe, video then you know how i feel about brown sugar bay bad and bougie so i mixed these as a base right and then i wore my versace bright crystal it's been a while since i wore versace bright crystal but this was my girl for a real long time i did finish my small bottle i started off with like a one ounce and then i just upgraded to a three ounce but i remember when i first smelled this i was just blown away it was just so, so pretty. It is so good. I think once I'm done with this, I am going to get the perfume because this one is a toilet. And I mixed it with sparkling sugar. I decided to mix it with sparkling sugar for a number of reasons. First of all, sometimes this one can come off too sharp for some people. So I was keeping y'all in mind just in case you have this and you like, I can't do it. It's a little too sharp for me. So I wanted to add sparkling sugar because it adds more sweetness to this. And because I was told that the Clean Reserve brand doesn't last, you know, that too long um, as far as like storing them, the smell, because it's more of a, like a natural brand, it goes away um, fairly quickly if you keep them long in your collection. So I've been trying to be, be intentional whenever um, I wear this so that it doesn't go bad because i do like this one not saying that i had this for a long time it's been a couple months but i just don't want to fall victim we don't want to do that so i mix these together really pretty citrusy sweet really fun together so i topped it off with pastel skies i wanted to add some creaminess to this and this one has soft cloud berries pink sponge sugar and coconut musk this one i did not like this one that much like i wasn't a fan of it not saying i didn't like it but i wasn't a fan of it for real um i bought this like i think it was last year or something like that and it's only like to hear literally as far as how much i use it but this one definitely has gotten better and i can get the coconut in it and it's sugar the sugar do smell good but it was just something about it that wasn't sitting right with me that i didn't like but i think i'm starting to like it i'm not starting to love it but i do like it and i just wanted this to be paired with what i wore to add just that creaminess to it and that's exactly what this did and it added some more sweetness so i wasn't mad about it so if you have these try pair them together and let me know what you think this next combination is for my strawberry lovers oh my goodness so so good so i started off with getting them gorgeous y'all know how i feel about this one y'all know how i feel about this one and have y'all seen the new packaging have y'all seen the new packaging so so freaking cute i had to buy a backup had to um but the backup i did purchase is the lotion i didn't buy the body cream I think I'm trying to convert to the lotion girls. Okay. So this has pink strawberries, peach nectar, peony blooms. I just, 
you know when you know you know you feel me like gingham is just so gorgeous like i i really do love this one bad and majority of the gingham line that i've been able to smell and get my hands on i'm not mad about them especially her so these two together these two together y'all know about burberry her I mean, are we shocked? Are we surprised? In my last video, I told y'all, she is still that girl. Like, do not dismiss her. Do not count her out. She is that girl. And my dent is just looking so cute. I'm so proud of me. But Coach Love, if you have not tried Coach Love, go to Alta and smell her. I love her these two together they already love separately but together so freaking good and sweet got a compliment that day i just gotta let y'all know when i do so y'all can be prepared but i mean these two together like what are we doing why have i waited so long to try this i don't know but the wait is over. Like, what? Unless... <sighs> I told y'all, strawberry soda just does something. Like, it, something is done. Okay? Fresh strawberries, bubbly seltzer, crushed ice. I love this one. <sighs> I really wish I would have got the lotion. I don't know. Like, when I saw it, because I did shop the sale when it, you know... I think it was pretty much like the next day I had shot the sale and I saw it like I saw all the stuff and I had an opportunity to smell strawberry soda but they didn't have a tester and I didn't want to open up a live product and smell it so I was like whatever and when they finally created a tester I was like oh my goodness it smells so good and by the time that happened the lotion was gone it was over I know I could purchase it online but I I don't want to spend $50 to get free shipping. I don't want to pay for shipping. But strawberry soda, I'm glad I do, I do at least have the spray. I love strawberry soda real, real bad. Like, real bad. So, try this combo out, y'all. If you are a strawberry lover and you want to smell sweet, soft, feminine, try this out it is amazing okay no cat no kizzy okay try this out i don't know how long my vanilla candy rock sugar is going to last i just don't know i just genuinely do not know this was in my last layering combination and <laughs> y'all be prepared buckle up <laughs> buckle up you're gonna be here for a long time you're going to see this for a long time like i genuinely cannot get enough i can't and i want this to be my signature like i want it to be my signature so bad but let me move past this because y'all seen this before but if you haven't you must be new and what's up <laughs> what's up but let me let me show you let me let me calm down I told you that caffeine is caffeinated it energizes every cell in these limbs okay this is pink body lotion mm. pop jelly vanilla and dreamy wow as soon as i got these palms on this and the spray because yes i have the spray and i purchased three of them purchased two of these i knew i needed backups i knew it knew it um this is sweet pear pink jasmine and bubblegum pop and when i tell you the bubblegum is popping at first i didn't get too much bubblegum i'm getting butter that's it <laughs> i'm getting bubblegum and this combination just makes the bubble gum pop out even more. Like, 
stop it. And then, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Moo ring. Y'all, when I run out of her, she's getting replaced. When I tell you this bad boy, this bad boy, the sillage on this, I didn't know how strong this was. Not, not in a bad way. Like, not saying it's in your face, it's going to choke you out. I'm not saying that. But she is no body to play with. She's no body to play with. So don't even do it. See, the problem is with y'all, y'all don't take things serious. Y'all not really serious. Y'all play around. I be seeing her on TikTok and be playing around. She didn't come here to play. She actually came here for business and that's all. She don't laugh. She don't hee hee. She don't cackle. She don't have fun. She's not playing with y'all. She's here for a long time. She She's rising to the top. I love this. I told y'all when I first got her, I love this. And I'm getting a dent in her. I said, ooh. But her. This, I just got this last week, y'all. Like, look at that dent. I mean, it came already pre-dented. Like, I fill these to the brim. Like, I don't need any space. <laughs> I don't like space. That's like when you cuddle at night, your person holding you, and then they turn the opposite way. You don't love me no more? Why am, why am I shivering? You was my warmth. Like, you don't love me? Okay. This one, y'all, I love candy pears, sweet violet, bubble gum, white caramel, rock sugar, vanilla cream, and baby, listen. I wish the top notes would stay around a little longer. But I'm not mad at the dry down. But I love this combination. Oh my goodness, I love it. And then let's not talk about bubble gum pop. This one the best one they made. I said it. You heard it here first. Okay. This one is so daggone good. I think I am going to go ahead and head to either eBay or Macari and purchase backups because I am really running through this faster than the speed of light. This has gumball sugar, candy fruits, and citrus burst. You can smell every single note, honey. Sweet treats and carnival games. It's a carefree day at the fair. She... Is a number one. She don't play fair. She don't play fair. It smells just like the pink hard gum that you buy out the machines. The Hubble Bubble. As soon as it, the five seconds is up, the flavor is gone. When I tell you, this is that. Like, don't five seconds are everything. Lock jaw if you make it to a minute. Okay, they don't have to pry that jaw open. This smells so freaking good. It smells like the gum that has like that powdery, whatever that little sprinkle of cocaine on it. It smells like that. <laughs> it smells like that. It's just really, really good. I love this one. So I was on this one pretty long, but I love it. Love this combination. If any of y'all have tried this, let the girls know. Let the girls know because I can't be the only one experiencing this. Okay. All right. So this was Thursday, right? Thursday, I had to head out to Alabama to celebrate my grandmother's life. So I decided to wear this. Okay. Um, so I started off with coconut pineapple. This is another one. Like when I run out, I'm going to really be sad. Um, this is shaved coconut, fresh pineapple, and cane sugar. I love this one. This is honestly my favorite coconutty lotion. 
it is it indeed is okay it smells just like what they describe it as i don't know how they got it to smell just like that but it's not like not that it is like oh i get a little extra stuff i don't get nothing else i get shaped coconut and fresh pineapple and cane sugar okay it is really really good so i decided to wear her with honor and glory let me get it out child passed out when i said it honor and glory honor and glory by the top of y'all know how i feel about this bad boy right here i told y'all that it's the first time every time first time every time okay i love honor and glory and i said i was gonna run her bike and i did i wasn't playing around i uh, -uh not playing around and i wore her with leisure and paradise Mm. these two together this one just made leisure and paradise super creamy like it has to be it has to be that creme brulee that's in here that made this so creamy this is already a very pretty very pretty scent if you have not smelled this one definitely get a sample from somewhere you know macquarie probably got one you you can get a sample somewhere I, I don't know where but i know i got mine from lucky scent i would try macquarie as well people sell samples on there but these two together just so like why would i put this on to go on the road <laughs> i just thought about that child and that drive was a drive i do not want to drive to alabama no more i really don't fly me i'm going to fly next time i go down there fly and it was hot as heck down there but were these two right and then i topped her off with waikiki beach coconut um this one i haven't worn in a while it's been a while since i've worn this i know the packaging looked different this year the, the packaging this year was cute and I decided not to buy a backup because it was no point when mine is full. She's up there. This has tropical white coconut, salt, or salt water breezes, sun, bleach, woods. This one is a pretty coconut scent. It's nothing like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think my problem with coconut is the same problem I have with vanilla. Like, if this is too basic of a coconut, I really don't care for it. Um, but it has to be, like, a different... You bring something different to the table. Like, you bring in giraffe meat to the table. Like, I need something different. Take me out my element, okay, coconut? Like, that's what I want to smell. But this one's, like, your basic coconut to me, at least. Some people might think this is absolutely spectacular. And that is fine. But the coconut I like has to be something a little, you know what I'm saying? Um, show me something different. I've been here a while. <laughs> Let me, I have to stop drinking caffeine, okay? I have to just rely on just B12. But this is what I wore. And um, she was fired. Friday, what I wanted to wear, something that's non-offensive, something that's Classy, fresh. Alabama is hot. I knew it was hot, but like, dang. It was hot. So I did not want to wear anything super, super sweet. Nothing creamy. I did not want to give that because I was going to get super sick. <laughs> no, like I'm not playing around with Alabama. And I would hate to know how I feel in August. Cause it was scorching while i was down there so i wore cloud nine i'm so glad i purchased a backup for cloud nine because this one i really truly love i just like how this make me feel it's like 
relaxing it's calming it's like lush to me this has lavender breeze morning dew drops and cozy amber thankfully um the lavender isn't crazy here because i'm not a fan of lavender i'm gonna let you know that right now but that lavender in here is definitely relaxing and this scent is just like comforting like i don't know what it is but i really really love this it is so so good like it's a light scent it's not something that's gonna be super strong or anything like that so i think this is so so pretty and it's something different for me so i really like this i probably should have bought more backups but i'm trying to reduce how much i have and i try not to buy backups especially with when it comes to sprays but i did buy a backup for this really really good so what i decided to wear was Grulon my Grulon. um this i really like this one it gives you like a classy fresh vanilla nothing too crazy a very pretty sillage it leaves um it's not like a huge projector or anything like that but it is really pretty just give you like a classy elegant vanilla kind of feel to it i think it's a really pretty vanilla to wear in the summer in the spring and then of course paired her with cosmic so that i can add some sweetness and elegance to it my cosmic dang um that dent is denting but i love cosmic this was really pretty together i did put down mongrel line first because she is the heavier scent and then i just topped her off with this so so good love these two together and then i wanted to add my perfume mist the musk one by bath and body works so this one says it's fragrance with notes of sheer that's a sheer orchid and airy musk for a delicate skin like scent and that indeed is what it is it's very skin like very pretty nothing crazy like i said i want to be more you know relaxed with what i wore that day this one i don't know i was sleeping honey because this one is really pretty it is more of a skin scent and if y'all know me i'm gonna let you know right now i don't be looking for perfumes that are skin scent <laughs> I don't, I don't want to smell like skin. I, I don't, unless I'm like probably going to bed and I'm like, I don't want to wear anything too heavy. Uh-uh. But when I smelled this one and I let it dry down, because at first I was like, I can't smell it. If I can't smell it, why am I buying it? <laughs> I can just spray water on me. But this one, after the dry down, I walked around that daggone store. I said, oh. She's getting God. Like, I I really like this one. I really like this one. It almost smells like it has, like, sandalwood in it. You know what it smells like? The lighter version of um, number 59 by Sol de Janeiro. It gives you that kind of scent, but make it skin-like. Yeah really really pretty i love this combination together it was really nice nothing too crazy i feel like you can definitely wear it pretty much anywhere and i'm talking about office church running errands all of that probably even working out because it's not offensive at all it's really good a nice sweet not too sweet clean feminine combination really really pretty all right, so this is what I wore coming back. So we end up leaving Alabama Saturday morning. And I didn't want to choke people out in the car. Especially when you're driving for eight, nine hours. You don't want to choke nobody out. You want to wear something clean. At least I do. Or you might not wear nothing at all. But I did. I didn't want to just smell like my body wash. But I wanted to wear something fresh, clean, elegant, you know what I'm saying? So I decided to start off with Brightest Bloom. I haven't put her out in a while, so I wanted to wear this. If you have this, 
A lot of people say it smells like Marc Jacob Daisy. It also smells like Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. So it kind of goes back and forth in my brain. Depending on the day I smell it is what it'll smell like. So this is Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Samba, Garden Carnations, and Fresh Cedarwood. As soon as I smelled this, I knew I was going to get it. When I saw the flowers in the front, I just knew I was going to get it. I did, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, this smells like Mark Jacobs today. It smells like Mark Jacobs today. I ain't gonna lie. But then I'm getting Chanel Chance. So it's just it's just, it keeps going back and forth. Okay. I like Brightest Bloom and I stand by her, okay? So what I did was pulled out my Chanel Chance because I said that it smells like Brightest Bloom. It reminds me of Brightest Bloom. And it may honestly be because it's a white floral fragrance. <sighs> This is a classic for me. I do love Chanel Tendre. I do indeed. And she is at the halfway mark, ain't she? Not mad about that at all. My mom, she's so dang funny. Y'all know my mom. Y'all might know my mama. But my mama is I Love to Giggles too. I'm going to link her page below. But she done went viral so many times on TikTok. So y'all may have seen her. And if you want to know where I get half of my goofiness from, is her. Okay, so check her out. But she was like, Chanel just gave me a middle-aged woman, like 35, but she got money. I'm like, I mean, I'm, let me pull out my Chanel some more, okay? Um, so I did top her off with La Rose by Parfums de Marley. This one, y'all know, is a fresh aquatic, like Delina on Keto summertime fine fragrance but she's not going to be heavy she's not going to project heavy so i did put chanel chance on first and then i topped her off with la rose very pretty together love this i wish she projected more i really do i'm glad to have her but i know that once i'm done with her i am done with her because I just thought that she would be heavier, but she is pretty nonetheless. And then when Bath and Body Works had their sale, I did pick up Pure Wonder. I had the lotion. I have the lotion of this, but never picked up the spray until I smelt it again. And I was like, I do like this. I do like this. So this is Ice Rose or Ice Rose um, Star Jasmine Warm White Amber. This one smells like a very clean floral scent like it must be honestly the ice rose that i'm getting a lot of because with the jasmine you can't smell the powderiness but it's like they scrubbed the rose it is so freaking clean it reminds me of like fresh clean laundry super super good i never thought i was going to purchase the mist to this i was fine with the lotion but then you know i revisited and i was like i do like this so it just added to this combination just that fresh clean smell it's not too much it's not gonna choke nobody out and thankfully it didn't because that ac in the car was blasting blasting okay so Definitely, if you want to, if you love white floral, if you love florals in general, and you want a fresh, clean scent, definitely check this one out. Okay. Last but not least, I wanted to wear something coconut-based this week to end the week. Okay, so I started off with Meet Me in Miami. I haven't worn this one in a while, but I do love how this one smells. It is Breezy Palm Trees Cabana Coladas Sun Tan Days. This one does smell just like that. It's sunscreeny. It's sweet. It's coconut. It is really, really pretty. So this one, um, I did want to mix with Cream Puff. This one, take a little bit of it because, again, y'all, it is an oil based product so you don't want to be slipping and sliding through your day because this one is going to have you slipping and sliding 
You're going to run every errand that you had intentions to run with this bad boy. So be light-handed with this. And I'm saying that because I wasn't. <laughs> I was not. I looked like a grease ball in my house. I had to turn all my ACs on and a ceiling fan to dry down. Because why would I go that hard? Why would I go that hard? But I did want to add some creaminess to this one. So I felt like I wanted to add it. You know, I wanted to add cream puff to give me that creaminess. And it definitely did. I just looked really glazy. So be be light. Especially when it's hot. Like, I didn't know if it was me sweating or the oil. Like, but it felt like both. So added these as a base. And then I want to pull out my alien goddess. She is um getting a, a cute little day in her. And I even want her for real like I should be wearing her. I love alien goddess. This is a very pretty coconut base perfume. It's the kind of coconuts I like. It's that giraffe me, something different, okay? I like this one a lot. And I added Melon Kiss with her. These two together is really, really pretty. <sighs> Melon Kiss, though, it's like, it almost smells like it's the meat of a coconut. This is the coconut. This is the meat of the coconut. So you're getting the whole entire coconut besides that hairy outer shell. You know what I'm saying? She's been shaved and waxed, honey. This one smells so good. And of course you get the melon, but that coconut in here is coconutting. And the dry down of that vanilla, and I believe it's honey in here as well. These two are really, really pretty together. Oh my goodness. So what I did was topped her off with fresh coconut colada. Mine is a throwback bottle because there's nothing in the back, honey. But um, this... I am getting my entire life. This is another one. This is wolf meat, okay? Anybody ever had a wolf steak? Is that a thing? I feel like it should be a thing. Like, hyena, thighs. Like, this is what it is giving. Just something different to the coconut. Like, it, they that rum in here? Bring this bike. Bring this bike. Like, why wasn't this on a semi-annual? If this was on a semi-annual, I would have definitely read up. <sighs> if you have this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is so, so pretty. <sighs> so, so pretty. And I had to top it off with this one because it just perfected this scent combination definitely please try this out probably without cream puff you really don't need that much of it and you don't i don't say i want to say it just made a huge difference i just wanted to add some more creaminess to it but it's not necessary if you have meet me in miami and these bad boys put them together okay it is so so good so if you enjoyed today's video please give it a huge thumbs up it helps the channel to grow. Comment below. Let me know what you tried from last week. What you're going to try this week. And what fragrance you're wearing today. I would love to know. I am going to try to challenge myself to use one fragrance. I know one of you all suggested it. One fragrance and period with, you know, other fragrances. So I'm going to try my best to do that very soon if not this week or next week then just very soon i, I, I gotta figure out which one i i want to smell like all week okay so bear with me if you are new to the channel girl what's up subscribe turn that notification bell on because you want to smell good like the rest of us right you you want to smell like that kangaroo meat i was just talking about different okay comment below let me know i Love y'all. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I will see you real soon. Bye.